Well, here is another look at Hurricane Helene, which is still a Category 3 storm. As of right now, it it has not made landfall technically, but you can see the rain bands already making an impact on portions of Florida. There is a tornado warning down there near Fort Myers. And as we take a closer look at the southeast tonight, even East Tennessee right now getting in on some of that stationary rain that's still involved from that front yesterday. What's going to happen is we're going to see Helene really just take flight onto land and really start to make those impacts all across the southeast for this weekend. Right now it's 80 degrees here in Memphis, but you can see like Knoxville this beginning heavy rainfall for the last few hours, 69 degrees. Our temperatures will be falling very, very soon because we have a flood watch in effect for tomorrow and a wind advisory for portions of the mid south. We do have a weather impact day. Our main concern will be the heavy rain. That's really it. There could be some high winds in certain areas, but the heavy rainfall will be the concern for your Friday and it's all thanks to this hurricane as of right now. This is the latest advisory. It has officially just hit 130 miles per hour, so we're going to see if they up the scale on it just a little bit. Uh, our last advisory is 5:20 p.m. They issue them a little bit more often as this storm gets closer and closer to landfall. In fact, there it is. It is a category four storm now before it makes landfall. By the time you're going to see overnight hours, even as it is in Georgia, it will still be a category two storm. And as it makes its way up towards us, we'll just have remnants of that low pressure system. Let's time it out for you. Let's time out what we're going to be seeing here in the mid south. Overnight tonight, we should be mostly dry, but Friday morning, we're going to start to see that rainfall really enter into the mid south. 7 a.m. is just going to be complete washout. All day long, we're looking at really heavy rain. That's why there's that flood watch in effect from 7 a.m. tomorrow until 7 a.m. on Saturday. You can see the rainfall slacks up just a little bit on Saturday, but we're going to have some lingering cloud cover. In fact, as we put in motion to our extended future cast, that rainfall will start to slack up just a little bit, but then we have a chance for some spotty showers throughout the day on your Saturday and your Sunday. What you're looking at is exactly what we saw when we saw the remnants of Hurricane Francine come through the Mid-South. Here's a look at the next seven days as far as your rainfall totals are concerned. Because we are expecting less impacts from that storm, maybe anywhere from one to maybe four inches on the higher inside, and that would be around Dyer County. But here in Shelby County, maybe two inches, and down in North Mississippi, maybe an inch to an inch and a half. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast for you tomorrow. It is a weather impact day. Highs will be near 67 degrees. Big weather story for tomorrow will be the heavy rainfall and those high winds. Temperatures getting back up into the upper 70s as we head into this weekend and next week will dry out as we get into next week. But the remnants of Hurricane Helene still making an impact maybe even through your Sunday morning. Got to get through that weekend. All right, Danielle, thank you.